Hi, this is Jamie Franklin, curator at the Bennington Museum. Welcome to another Tour at 10. Today I am standing here with a number of works by an artist by the name of Marion Hughes. Um, Hughes was born in 1896 in eastern Massachusetts. Um, by um, her mid to late 20s, she had already um, had quite a lot of success as an artist. Um, she moved to Springfield, Massachusetts, and by 1925, she had started her own school. Um, she was teaching other um, um, young people to become artists themselves. Um, and her school there in Springfield um, was in operation from 1925 to 1940. Um, and between 1936 and 1938, um, she was the director of um, Western Massachusetts Fine Art Program. The Fine Art Program was the Fine Arts Division of the Works Progress Administration, which was part of President Roosevelt's New Deal um, from the mid-1930s into the early 1940s. And so Hughes was a, um, um, a, a professional artist um, um, of, of some renown um, in Western Massachusetts. And in 1933, she bought a home and studio in Powell, Vermont, where she spent most of her summers and as many weekends as she could get, get up here from 1933 until 1940 when um, she moved up here permanently. Um, and it was during this period that she would paint scenes like this painting, um, which she titled Sunday. Um, and so this is an everyday scene um, of her neighbors in Pownall. Um, in this case, you can see them um, walking up the road um, towards the church um, for their su Sunday church service. Um, um, but one of the reasons I wanted to share Hughes's work with you today is because next spring, um, um, we're going to be having a retrospective of Hughes's work. Um, and so um, um, she really was one of um, um, the few artists um, from this early period in the 1930s and 40s to really document um, um, our landscape and the everyday activities of her neighbors there in Pownall um, 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 uh, to a really high um, artistic level. Um, and so this was a period during the WPA. Um, it's often referred to as regionalism or, the, or American scene painting. Um, artists like Thomas Hart Benton, Grant Wood are probably most famous. And during the WPA, because there was so much federal sponsorships um, for artists across the country, um, and they really wanted to be creating art for the people, for their neighbors. And so there was a lot of artists like Hughes and others who were really painting um, their, their, their place in the world. And in her case, that was rural um, Pownall. Um, and so she created dozens of beautiful paintings like this, many of which will be on view um, in Marianne Hughes picturing Pownall this spring. Um, but one of the other things that Hughes was really well known for was for her innovation with a, um, a printmaking technique called the serigraph, um, or possibly more popularly known as silk screen. And, and so these are four silk screens of local subject matter that Marion Hughes created here um, in the Bennington area, Pownall, around um, 1940. Um, silk screen had been a commercial technique um, up until the 1930s, and it was in fact artists associated with the WPA um, that um, kind of innovated it and promoted it into a fine art technique. And, and Hughes was really one of the artists that really grabbed a hold of this and made great use of it. And so each of these images, the Old First Church, the Harmon Inn, which was an old 18th century building, um, a covered bridge in Pownall, which is no longer standing, and of course the Henry Bridge, one of the iconic covered bridges of Bennington. Um, um, these were her subject matter, and what she would do is she would create a drawing for each color on the silk screen using what's known as tush, or kind of like a waxy crayon. Then she would coat the screens, and the screens would get closed up by the chemical she, that she used, but it wouldn't coat where the tush was drawing. So she was actually drawing very free, free with her hand. Um, and then she would take another chemical that would take the touche off, and then she would print each color through her drawing. And so she would have to register it again on, on the press for each color, and then make these beautiful, very painterly prints. Um, and she was really one of the innovators of this during the late 30s and into the 40s. Um, and I'm just really excited to be able to share her work. Um, these are from our permanent collection. We'll have um, loans from a number of collections um, um, from the Pownall Historical Society, private collectors, um, um, Southern Vermont Art Center here at Bennington next spring. I really encourage you to come and learn more about Marion Hughes and see her work. So that's our tour for 10 for the day. Thank you and hope to see you again soon.